Hi guys, welcome back in the React with the Jest video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how we can test the states of a component. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I am going to introduce you uh, the all of the component that we are going to use. So this is my app.js. So we will write some state here and update them and uh, we will test them here. We will write this the code here. This is the old code. I am going to write it from the very scratch because this is the my previous tutorial, which is the function testing. If you want to watch this, this the uh, link is given in the description box also. All right. So this is my uh, we can say that uh, a console box. So here we will write the commands and we will test the uh, cases here. Okay, so I'm going to clear it also. So here I'm going to delete everything from here because we are going to write scratch writing from the scratch. Okay, so we have to import this one also here and react also. Here. So just I'm going to write here import react from react now import app from app okay and after that we have to import and install a uh, important uh, uh, npm package which is the react test render so uh, for how we can install that and it's a uh, 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 npm link and git link also given in the description box you can check from here and is this is used for uh, uh, getting the instance of our component in the test file okay so i'm going to import this also so just write here import react so, uh, render from react test render okay so i'm going to just uh, remove this code okay just now write a test function here so in the test function we are going to write the test case so first parameter is the message so i'm going to just write function state testing okay and the second function is for write the use case and this is the arrow function so here i am going to write, take a let so just uh, take a component uh, from react sorry it's a renderer dot create and in the create just write here our app component and dot get instance okay and after that uh, uh, what we have to do we have to write the some uh, a test uh, um, a state here for that I'm going to just write constructor in the constructor I'm going to use the super function and just write here this dot state uh, let's say my state name is the data and in the data I'm already saved hello okay and on the function call this should be changed so in this function I'm going to remove this one or just write here this dot set state and in the set state I'm going to write here data and in the data I'm going to just write hi okay so now I'm going to test this here so just write here component dot uh, the function name is uh, data function dot data function okay so this function will be called and after that just write the expected case expect what we are expecting here and uh, i think there is a misspell with the expect okay in the expect we are going to just write here component dot state dot state name which is the data what it should be after this for uh, it should be to be high okay so now let's test this so uh, this function is basically uh, the initially state is hello but after calling this function the state will be update with the high okay and we just call 
this function and now it should be high so now just write here npm test okay sorry it should be npm test not php test i'm usually right here sometimes sometimes php because i am also work with the php okay so case is ready and uh, there is some issue with that okay uh, because i just uh, do a mistake here did a mistake okay so now let's run it okay so now you can see that the test is running successfully okay so this is the testing state this is uh, run everything is fine okay so now uh, this is the very simple so now i want to pass some data from here to here just i passed the data variable here and uh, let's take data with the new high okay so just pass this data in this function as a parameter and to match this value also with the same and now just get the item here and in this item you can just simply pass here there okay so now it should be match now let's uh, just stop it and run it once again so still the case is successfully run because this is matching here so let's say if i just write something wrong uh, if i just uh, write here this the same string here then it uh, it will be work same and the test case will be passed here okay as you seen here now let's check the fail case so how it could be fail okay so in the fail if I just write here change something in the string then it should be fail okay so and you can see that here this is expecting new high uh, but receiving new high is here okay because we are passing this variable here and this is expect uh, expecting this and we are getting something else okay so with this case you can get uh, all about the error okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and this is the very simple test case about the how we can test the states in react.js with a jest framework so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel please like this video so bye bye